Leonard Garrison, Associate Professor of Flute at the University of Idaho. And in my series of videos on French intermediate flute solos, I am now presenting the Deux Morceaux, or two pieces, by Alphonse Duvernois, French composer. Duvernois was born in 1842 and died in 1907. He taught piano at the Paris Conservatory, but he was also a prolific composer. Most importantly for flutists, he wrote the concertino, which is in the famous Louis Moïse collection, Flute Music by French Composers, published by Schirmer. Now his concertino is one of the Paris Conservatory Morceaux de Concours, or contest pieces, that were used in the annual exams for the conservatory. His deux morceaux are a little easier than the concertino. They make good preparatory pieces. The first piece is a lamento, or lament. It is very similar to another piece that I'm presenting in this series of pieces, the Lefebvre uh, Barcarolle Melancholique. And it, it sounds kind of like a Barcarolle. It's written in 6-8. It has a very dark color in C minor. So the expressiveness of the flute and the piano are very important. Duvernois challenges the flutist to sing in the very lowest notes, for instance, low C. So developing one's low register is ideal for this piece. The lento tempo at the outset is most appropriately played at about eighth equals 96. Later on in this piece, there are opportunities to push and pull the tempo. For instance, the forte appassionato is an appropriate place to push forward a little bit. And the piumoso, as marked, goes even faster. And after that, there's an accelerando. Then there is a little cadenza starting with a high A flat. Now this note tends to go sharp on the flute when played loudly, so I suggest adding the right hand, second and third fingers, R2 and R3. That will bring the pitch down. Take time on this first A flat fermata, then rush down your chromatic scale. It's best to group this scale in fours, starting with a three note pickup. <laughs> resulting in <laughs> Also take time on this low A flat, allowing it to dissolve and play as slowly as you dare on the lento espressivo. Now, like many French slow pieces, you're required to taper at the end on a rather high note, the C above the staff. That is very difficult with the regular fingering, but I have a good solution that allows you to play three pianos, a uh, pianissimo, and still retain some sense of intonation. So the fingering is based on a low F without the thumb, but then adding only the ring of R2 or the right hand second finger. So here's the normal C. Here's the special fingering. It's easier to stain, sustain at a soft dynamic, and the pitch is just slightly higher, um, which should work out very well. So let's listen to 
this first of the deux morceaux or two pieces by Alphonse Duvernois, the Lamento, with myself, Leonard Garrison, performing on flute and my colleague Roger McVeigh performing on piano. <laughs> By the way, these two pieces, the Deux Morceaux by Duvernois, are dedicated to a 
flutist whose last name was Enda. He was, for a time, the professor of flute at the Paris Conservatory following the death of Paul Tafanel. This second piece can contrast completely with the first one, which is very serious and dark. Now we have an intermezzo, a lighter, less serious and delightful little piece. It is marked Allegro ma non troppo, a cheerful fast tempo, but not too fast. And the best tempo in terms of metronome is 96 to the quarter note beat. So this requires mostly a legato style, but paying attention to the phrase endings, which are often marked staccato. So in those cases, they need to be clipped for a nice lift to the sound. Pay attention to the marked tempo changes. For instance, the poco ritenuto about a third of the way through the piece. The piece is written in an ABA form or ternary form. And so try to contrast the second section as much as possible with the outer sections. Um, the piano sets up a Spanish sounding uh, accompaniment and the flute comes in forte accented and très rythmé or very rhythmic. Play with a lots of panache and color and clear articulation. One of the ensemble challenges in this piece occurs on the second page of the flute part after the long B to C natural trill. And the flutist should breathe after the resolution of their trill and then play mezzo forte, realizing that the pianist has to play in the same rhythm, doubling your eighth notes. And so you must give this breath, indicate your beat very clearly to your pianos. Subsequently, there's a little rollantando leading back into the original theme. So this also has to be worked out very carefully with the pianist. The biggest technical challenge of this piece occurs in the second line from the end where you have sextuplets or actually 16th note triplets with what we call lower neighbors applied to a G major scale. So slowly, this passage sounds like this. So that's the way you should practice at first and then gradually pick it up until you can play at quarter equals 96. That's a, a big challenge. I advocate a couple of alternate fingerings in this passage. In the second measure of these sextuplets, I use what I call the right hand trick to move from D to C. So I finger D is normal, but I keep my right hand planted and move to C only in my left hand and back to D. So the result is this. The tone of the C is slightly compromised by this fingering, but no one's going to hear this at a very fast tempo. The second bit of alternate fingerings I use is right after that on the first E after the D. I do not plant my right hand pinky for that note. This saves a lot of energy in a fast passage like this. The third alternate fingering I use is on the F sharp, right after the E that we were talking about. And for this F sharp only, I use the middle F sharp, not the end. So this is the result. And so on. This set of alternate fingerings will make you successful in this 
run. Well, let's listen now to the second of the De Morceaux, or two pieces, by Alphonse Duvernois, the intermezzo. This is with myself, flutist Leonard Garrison, and my colleague, pianist Roger McVeigh. Hope you've enjoyed our performance of du Duvernois' Deux Morceaux, or Two Pieces, and good luck or bonne chance. <laughs>